United States will be the crypto capital of the planet and the Bitcoin superpower of the world. I want to be mined, minted, and made in the USA. It's going to be. It's not going to be made anywhere else. And if Bitcoin is going to the moon, as we say, it's going to the moon, I want America to be the nation that leads the way. On day one, I will fire Gary Gensler. Whoa. And we'll appoint a new SEC chairman who believes America should build the future, not block the future, which is what they're doing. Well, Bitcoin has been popping on President Trump's remarks. He's saying he's going to make the U.S. the crypto capital of the world if he's reelected. For more on all of this, let's welcome back to the show Senator Bill Haggerty from Senate Banking. Senator, it's good to see you. So you were at that 2024 conference in Nashville where President yeah. Trump spoke. What did you make of it? I tell you, the energy there was electric, Liz. Uh, the crowd was so responsive to President Trump. If you think about the alignment of basic fundamental Republican principles of freedom and liberty, President Trump was speaking to his audience because the Bitcoiners are very much in that same vein, and I think they saw the alignment. And President Trump was very clear. He wants to see this innovation happen here in America, not force it offshore the way the current administration has been doing. So he's embracing one of the greatest, most impactful technologies that we see for our nation's future. The productivity gains that we'll see, I think, will be enormous. We need to see it happening here on shore. And President Trump made that message extraordinarily clear. And the crowd responded, as you could probably hear, in a very, very exciting electric way. You know, Senator, the, uh, President Trump also talked about creating a Bitcoin strategic reserve using, you know, the currency that the U.S. government already holds. He said, yes. you know, he's going to fire the SEC chair. Um, he's also saying he does not want a U.S. Federal Reserve governed digital currency. What is that true? Is that what he's saying? What do you make of that? It, it, it's absolutely true. And I think the last point is probably the most critical because we've seen this administration take every move in the direction of creating what is known as a central bank digital currency. It's what's being done in communist China right now with their digital yuan. It's a centralized product that would allow government surveillance and control of all of our financial transactions. The Bitcoin community, and I think everybody at that conference, wants to see something that's decentralized, something that is not centrally controlled by the federal government, but something that allows individuals to custody their own wealth and their own you know, currency. This is something that is, again, fundamentally American. Those who want liberty and freedom appreciate this. Those who want centralized control, like the current administration, want to move in exactly the opposite, you know, the exact opposite direction, which I think underlies the reason they've been so hostile to the cryptocurrency environment. So there is there's a serious push to have a U.S. digital currency. Is that true? Uh, it seems to be the push in a number of nations, okay. but the efforts underway here are quiet at this point. But what we've seen are significant efforts by this administration to move in that direction. Senator Haggerty does not want it. Thanks for joining us. It's great to have you on.